Hi everyone, Amy Love here to share with you an altered bottle that I created today. I started with a gessoed bottle. I go ahead and have a little gesso party and gesso a bunch of things I want to alter, you know, um, about every other month. So I had this one actually, I think the last, the last gesso party I had was at my other house. So this has been packed away with the other gessoed bottles and I decided today was the day. So the technique I'm using now, I actually heard about on Pearl and Button, Shabon's channel, and she was inspired by another channel. Um, and what I'm just doing is I'm Mod Podging on some cheesecloth to the bottle to give it texture on the bottom. And I am using Glitter Mod Podge because I do want, I'm, I think I'm using the extra sparkle one because I do want some sparkle to shine through. And since this bottle is going to remain um, white, you should be able to see the sparkle with no problem. So I am just making sure all the bare spots get covered. And excuse any background noise, please. But I just do love the texture. I'm going to do some more of these, I think, but um, spray on top of it. I think it probably look beautiful also. But this one's going to be white. When I started, I had a different plan. But you know, once you get going, plans change. And so this was going to be a very colorful bottle. But no, instead, it's just going to be white and sparkly, which is how I like it anyway. So instead of just waiting for it to dry because I'm very impatient, I do go ahead and dry it with my heat gun. Or I would have had to wait till the next day. And you know I just couldn't do it. Alright, so I wanted actually to put like a fringe on top. But I couldn't find the short fringe, like, you know, everything's still in boxes. So I found this, and this is from, this trim is from Craft Supplies for You. And I just layer it and layer it and layer it on top of each other and stagger it just so it's full of those fan dangles all the way on the top. Now I'm just um, using hot glue because I gessoed the bottle and added that cheesecloth. This, uh, the glue and the trim have something to grab a hold of. So the hot glue works fine if you've, you know, primed your bottle and, and gave it some, some texture. And so that worked perfect for this. And I added all the way to the top of the neck of this bottle. And I added on first because I do try to kind of lay out my bottle before I start working on it to see if a trim needs to go on before a certain trim. And so what I had laid out, this trim needed to go on first. But of course, I changed my mind. And I think it's the next trim I put on. I should have put on before I put this on. But it all works out. I just have to hold it up out of the way, so no big deal. All right, now I'm using this um, bridal trim, and it's not going to go all the way around, but it doesn't matter because there's going to be something on the back, and you won't even uh, see the gap. But that um, bridal trim is also from Craft Supplies for You. It's because I have all my Craft Supplies for You stuff upstairs, so that's those are the laces and trims I'm grabbing first. And now I am, see this is when I have to hold that top fringe out of the way. And now I'm trying to get those, those scallops glued down, but still looking pretty. And that's always interesting. And um, I'm using my spatula so I don't burn myself. But I use hot glue on the, on the whole thing because, you know, I've prepared the bottle in such a way that hot glue holds to it just fine. Looks so pretty. And this, oh, look at this beautiful bridal applique. It is uh, got pearls on it and it's sequined and it's just huge. It takes up the whole bottle, goes all the way up to the top and it's gorgeous. So that's actually the back of my bottle. I wanted the back to be just as pretty. And I'm taking care to glue down all of the edges because I don't want any, you know, air gaps or bubbles on the edges that just won't be pretty so I'm making sure and I've decided the spatula is never going to do this requires hands-on <laughs> hands-on to get it down where I need it to be and make sure everything's pressed down well enough and I could have left those like wings sticking out there I think that's pretty but for this bottle 
that just that wasn't going to work for me. So I went ahead and got everything pressed down. And I love the way that this looks on the bottle. It's gorgeous. At that point, I even thought about not doing an image and just covering this whole bottle in appliques because I loved this so much. But I didn't go with that. But I'm glad I put it on the back. It's gorgeous. So this gorgeous leaf trim, also a craft supplies for you trim, and I don't even know if she still has any of this left, but I was looking for a trim to go around the bottom and this just, it was perfect. So we went with it. And there's my wind chimes. I hope you like wind chimes as much as I do because it's a windy day in Maine today. Yeah, I love that leaf trim. Super cute. And if you have any questions, please leave them below. I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. So I'm adding a little batting so that my image is puffed out a little bit and it's softer. And of course, you know, I cannot seem to get away from these, <laughs> these glamour images. I love them so much. And Right there I glued it down and I didn't have it centered on the thing so I had to rip it up and try it again. So this is another one of those glamour in it. The 1920 images are my absolute favorite and I just can't seem to get away from them. And I'm using my fingers to rub it down just to, I want to make sure it's good. And, but on this bottom one I do use the spatula because I would just burn the heck out of myself. But then I smooth it out with my fingers. And I love the way the image looks, so now I'm going to add a trim around it. And of course, everybody say it with me, this trim comes from Craft Supplies for You. Which, if you're interested, I will put the links to Craft Supplies for You below. So you can go check it out. Love their laces and trims and bling, embellishments, flowers, metals, you know, everything. I do love this little trim. But I'm almost out. No. And I know you can't see the sparkle from here, but the sparkle Mod Podge is really shining through. It's it's just beautiful on this piece. Okay, and then I think um, after I get the trim on, I wanted to put something on the sides of the image, so I found some appliques in my stash that um, are pearled. Excuse that loud noise. Um, these also come from Craft Supplies for You. She has tons of appliques. And I put one exactly the same on each side. I just love it. But I don't cover the entire bottle. I do leave some of that cheesecloth and sparkle to shine through on the bottle. It peeks through here and there. All right, and now these. I don't know if you have seen these fabulous flower appliques that have dangle pearl drops. I love them. Yes, they're from Craft Supplies for You. And I am putting them on this bottle. And I'm putting three. I feel like three looks best. So I'm just deciding where I want those three to go. Kind of stagger them around a bit. And I make sure all the edges are down. That's the most important thing on these bottles. Get all the edges glued down. So one more. I love these. They're beautiful. I just want to put one of these on every project. At least one. They're gorgeous. I don't know what I'm going to do when I run out. Julie's never allowed to run out of these. These are my favorite thing. Okay, now I'm going to add some flat back pearls to uh, the top of the bottle. And yes, I got my flat back pearls also at Craft Supplies for You. I'm just hot gluing them on because I gessoed and put that cheesecloth around the, the lid and everything because this bottle is not meant to open. So everything got um, gessoed down. And now stickles because everything should have sparkle. So I'm spa sparkling up her crown and her strand of pearls. But here's the problem is I always stickle. I think I'm done. I think I'm at a stopping point where I can stickle and then I always find something else to do and then stick my hand in the wet stickles. It never fails. So I have this pearl trim that I got at Hobby Lobby and I decided that I wanted to add some and I did add that crown. I don't know. I guess 
that wasn't on the video, but that's a crown that I had in my stash and I just popped it over the neck of that bottle and I glued it down kind of crooked because I thought it was so cute. And I'm just hot gluing every so often these hot per these um, pearls down. I'm not gluing the whole strand down. I'm just periodically giving it a little a little dash of glue. So I hope that you enjoyed it. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you like. And as always, my art is for sale. My email is below if you're interested. Thank you for watching, everybody. And I'll see you on the next one.